Who are the cast members and heroes in Spider-Man Far From Home? Will Jake Gyllenhaal be a villain or a hero? Has Peter Parker fallen in love with Nick Fury's daughter? Are Tom Holland and Zendaya dating in real life? And finally, will Spider-Man be a good replacement for Iron Man? We've tried to find the answers to these and other questions even before the release of the movie. Hi, I'm Clive, and you're watching the Asa Channel. Zendaya, aka MJ In the first movie, we didn't really know that much about MJ. Even though there were some attempts to give us insight into her character, Peter only had Liz on his mind. Well, and Tony Stark, of course. But in this sequel, the girl has definitely got a more significant role. Oh, just check out the way Peter looks at her. Moreover, fans on Reddit are actively discussing the relationship between MJ and Nick Fury. What if she really is his daughter? Well then, Peter might really come to regret ignoring Nick Fury and not just answering his calls. You sent Nick Fury to voicemail? I gotta go. You do not ghost Nick Fury. We all know how crazy fathers can be when it comes to their daughter's admirers. But if you look closely, you'll see that MJ and Fury are alike. Hard to read personality, observational skills, and even a concealed eye. Now, let's move on to Zendaya. We all remember her from the Disney show Shake It Up, but did you know she's also a singer? Her singles have even made the Billboard Hot 100. The first Spider-Man movie and The Greatest Showman were her film breakthroughs. In The Greatest Showman, she appeared alongside Zac Efron, and the critics were amazed by her singing and acting skills. Critic Owen Gleiberman wrote in Variety that, Efron and Zendaya have a terrific chemistry. They never stop seeking each other out. But this simply proves that they are great actors, as nothing's going on between them in real life. But it's more interesting with Peter, or Tom Holland to be precise. All the fans love the couple's on-screen chemistry, and they're looking for proof of it in real life. What we know for sure is that Tom and Zendaya are on great terms behind the cameras as well. They often mess with each other. For instance, Tom, who is not a social media lover, recently posted a picture with the cast, tagging Zendaya where he wasn't really supposed to. It didn't take long for the actress to answer. I'm assuming because you don't know how to work IG, that's the reasoning behind my name placement. But we can forgive him, as that wasn't his first IG fail. No. Oh. I basically forgot to post the trailer. Uh huh. However, the rumors are that their relationship is more than just friendly. Way back during the filming of the first movie, a source close to the actors allegedly told People, they've been super careful to keep it private and out of the public eye, but they've gone on vacations with each other and try and spend as much time as possible with one another. While we are hoping for an official statement about their relationship, you better watch this video till the end to find out how Tom accidentally revealed his feelings for Zendaya. The life stories of the characters in After Eleven are just as interesting. Are they fighting for true friendship or maybe even love? Or is it just a fling? Find out the consequences of these actions and how the characters handle them. Read their chat stories in the After 11 p.m. app, available in the App Store. The download link is in the description. John Favreau as Happy Hogan He was one of Tony Stark's few close friends, and now that Tony's gone, he's taking care of Peter. Perhaps Tony Stark asked his friend to watch over his beloved apprentice? Anyway, Peter should count himself lucky, because any superhero needs an assistant, right? Especially if he really wants to take Iron Man's place. The actor Jon Favreau is an even more important figure behind the camera. He is the director of the first two Iron Man movies, and even of the upcoming The Lion King. Moreover, he was a producer for all the Avenger films. And even more, doesn't his face seem familiar to you? The old show, millionaire, martial artist? Still no idea? Favreau was Monica's millionaire boyfriend. Remember him? Ha! <laughs> He's come a long way from being a millionaire himself to being the loyal assistant of a billionaire. Did you know that John is an amazing cook? He is an executive producer and director of The Chef Show on Netflix. He even invited the Spider Man cast to the last episode. A talented man indeed. Jake Gyllenhaal as Mysterio and Quentin Beck. Since the trailer was released, a lot of people on the internet started wondering if Jake would be a villain or a positive character in the movie. And Mysterio is, he's a villain. Well, I mean, in the comic books, he's a villain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mysterio himself, in an eye-catching costume with a spacesuit, is one of Spider-Man's most dangerous enemies. His real name is Quentin Beck, and at first he worked on creating special effects in different Hollywood studios. But he got disappointed in his work and decided to use his knowledge of hypnosis, chemistry, and robotics in a different sphere. 
In the comics, there were plenty of battles between Spider and Mysterio in which the villain blocked the spider sense with gas, tried to make him go mad through hypnosis, destroyed his web with poison, etc. Another one of Beck's unique abilities is to convince a huge number of people that something bad is happening and he is the only one who can save everyone. From watching the trailer of Spider-Man Far From Home, everything seems to be quite familiar. It is quite unexpected to see Jake Gyllenhaal in the Marvel Universe, as he usually prefers indie movies or serious dramas. But did you know that 15 years ago, he went to a casting for a different role in the Spider-Man universe? He was to become the next Peter Parker, replacing Tobey Maguire after his so-called trauma. If you want to find out more about this conflict, watch our video about why and how Toby's acting career was nearly cut short. There have been plenty of rumors about the actor's private life, especially after the movie Brokeback Mountain, in which he portrayed a gay person. Thousands of gay and bisexual men were polled for the 2007 and 2008 After Elton.com Hot 100 list. Gyllenhaal was ranked at number one in both years consecutively. And still, Jake claims he is totally straight. Yeah, no, yeah, no, I mean, it, I mean, yeah, it is. I mean, I, yeah. And his romantic history proves it. For example, Kirsten Dunst, who he started dating after the first Spider-Man was released in 2002. He didn't get the role, but got his Mary Jane. Too bad the couple separated two years later. Then there were relationships with Reese Witherspoon, Taylor Swift, and model Alyssa Miller. Right now, he seems quite happy with his model girlfriend, Gian Cadio who is 16 years younger. We can't wait to see him in a spacesuit. Samuel L. Jackson as Nick Fury. Well, how could we forget about Nick Fury and his super urgent duty to save humanity? You'd better not mess with him, and you better answer his calls. Can you believe that this amazing actor is already 70? Moreover, there was a time when he wasn't bald. That's even harder to believe, right? On The Tonight Show, he explained that he had to shave his hair for a part in a movie, but then kept receiving more and more bald roles, and had to keep shaving his head so that the wigs could be made for him. Samuel joked that, the only way I'm gonna have time to grow my hair back is if I'm not working. His private life is quite stable. He's been married to the actress Latanya Richardson for 39 years, and the couple has a daughter who's almost the same age as their marriage. Oh, we're very glad that everything is going well for them, and we hope to see them on our screens even more often. Jacob Batalon as Ned Leeds Here comes Peter's best friend! In the second installment, he'll even get a girlfriend named Betty Brant. What's interesting is that in the comics, she had been dating Peter for some time, but she later married Ned. In the movie, Peter will be so into MJ that Ned and Betty's storyline will start simply. Jacob, just like Ned, is the lucky one. Before Spider-Man, he only had one role, in the thriller movie Northwoods. And then, a year later, came the popular hit movie Spider-Man Homecoming, with him in it. Right after that, he starred in a few other movies of completely different genres, from horror movies to romantic ones. He's even landed the role of Sancho Panza in the upcoming film The True Don Quixote. We can't wait to see him on our screens again! Remy High as Brad Another new character! The creators of the movie wanted to add some elements of typical school drama and competition, so there he is, Peter's ideal classmate. As producer Eric Carroll said, he is the kind of guy that guys like me and Peter hated in high school. His hair is always looking right, the clothes always fit the way they're supposed to, he always would have said something funny to say, and he's read all the same books as MJ. Or at least he lies and says he's read all the same books as MJ. Remy High is much older than other schoolboys from the cast, but he still got the role. You must have seen him before in Crazy Rich Asians and a few TV shows, and he recently got the main role in the spinoff from Jane the Virgin. Who will MJ choose, Peter or Brad? We'll find out soon. And now, let's move on to our favorite Spider-Man! Tom Holland as Peter Parker Judging by the trailer, this time he just wants to get some rest with his friends without his superhero costume. As Tom revealed, he's very much love-driven in this film and taking a break. But he is Spider-Man! Things can't be like that! Now there's a number of rumors about whether he is the future Iron Man. What do you think? Will he become the new Stark? You gonna be the next Iron Man now? Well, no, I don't have time. I'm too busy doing your job. Oh. In the comics, Peter is a genius, and in the movie, we can see that studying is easy for him. A sharp mind was Iron Man's main advantage, right? What we know for sure is that Peter and Mysterio will combine their powers to fight villainous elementals, as the other Avengers are unavailable. By the way, in a recent interview, Tom stood up for Mysterio, calling him a new hero, not a villain. Do you know what Mark Ruffalo, who portrayed Hulk and Tom, have in common? No, not just appearing in the Avengers. 
they both can't resist revealing spoilers in their interviews. Holland wasn't even told about how Avengers Endgame would end, so that everything could stay confidential. Oh, I actually asked my agent last night. I was like, do you know how this ends? He was like, yeah. I was like, tell me. He's like, nope. Huh, now it's even more tempting to watch all the interviews with Tom and find out everything before the premiere. We didn't really know a lot about Tom's private life before he became popular, but right now, he and Zendaya are the most discussed couple in the MCU. Official or not, fans know what's really going on, right? In an interview with Pop Buzz back in 2017, Holland revealed who his first ever celebrity crush was. The star quickly answered, Zendaya. Then he tried to play it off as a joke, but that didn't really work. So cute. Tom can't resist giving us spoilers about his private life either. What do you think of Mysterio? Will he be a villain or a hero? We are waiting for your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching. Want to know everything about your favorite superhero movies? Subscribe to our new channel, Awesome Movies.